My name is Uwe Meiling. About two years ago, I was awarded the contract to repair and restore this telescope. An absolute privilege for me to dismantle such an old telescope into every single tiny part, having to touch every little screw on my way. It was a dream come true, a real adventure learning more about this old technology. I am proud to be able to say that we have undertaken the very last step to complete the restoration project today. We literally just finished the telescope. For example, we installed digital reference circles for the telescope's two coordinates. This will make it possible to find cosmic objects much faster. The ADC, or Atmospheric Dispersion Corrector, is an auxiliary device. Cosmic objects are never really displayed 100% correctly due to the color shift that light suffers when traveling through our atmosphere. The ADC corrects this color shift, reverting the objects to their original appearance. By adding the ADC, the telescope provides excellent viewing conditions. I am very relieved and I had a huge amount of fun. It was a frenzy from the outset. There was always something that I hadn't seen before. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Greifswald Observatory Society for awarding the contract to me, giving me permission to carry out the restoration. My name is Tilman Reinecker. I belong to the Greifswald Observatory Society. I am very happy about the restoration. When I was here a while ago and then joined the association, I thought to myself, well, is this even possible? I was very pleased when Uwe Meiling received the restoration contract. That was a very good decision. I'm really proud of the whole team. I've always been interested in flyball governors, whether installed in a steam engine or in a windmill, because we always have to guide the telescope towards the stars because the Earth continues to rotate, and this has to be compensated for. This is especially important when you need long exposures for photography. It's an automatic system, and that ensures that the telescope follows the stars evenly and that makes this tracking device necessary. It's purely mechanical. It's an invention from the 19th century. It works wonderfully. Even if we were to have a power outage here, it's really just purely mechanical. These spheres rotate around the center axis. They rise up and thus slow down the fall of the weight. Otherwise, the weight would just drop in a free fall. Like a watch. My watch has a constant rate of increase that says tick-tock, and this also has a continuous steady movement. So in 2024, this device will turn 100, at least in part. It has been upgraded over the years. We have always been amazed in times of inflation when people were so unhappy, also economically unhappy. It was possible that such a telescope could be set up here for Greifswald, Germany. And I'm so grateful that it survived the Second World War and all the other things, and that there have always been people here who cared for the telescope. There have been many astronomy seminars, and I hope that it will last well into the future, and I hope that I also can continue to be active for as long as possible. I would like to wish the society that the large number of visitors continues or even increases and that the telescope will remain in good working order for many years to come. I'm convinced that this will be the case and that the telescope will still be in use 100 years from now.